Yo, what's up, everyone? It's uh, Andrew Nakis coming in hot from uh, the Fab 2 Pro tablet um, in an augmented reality kind of like drone flying game. Let me just turn down the volume a little bit. Um, and you can see it's kind of scanning in the mirror. So um, it's augmented reality, but then it's also actually um, experimental mesh building around it. It's kind of cool how it doesn't scan in the uh, just right in front of me when you point it out a mirror, but it, then it scans everything else and actually gets like the reflections of everything. So if I move it around, I can kind of scan more of the environment. And I'm really pushing the, the Tango to the limit right now because um, it's running augmented reality with experimental mesh building and that's experimental mesh building with both colors and physics um, kind of built in. Still have a little, little patch. Um, and so it's also in unity with the game on top of it. And I'm recording this screen right now. And I'm like always just blown away by how well this thing actually performs. I mean, it's a 652 chip, which is like, I guess, last year's kind of low end efficiency tier chip but like it still just runs so well and like the tango overhead is very small even when like you're mesh scanning you can see the ir is flashing right now at five frames per second um so what this is is kind of a drone game and i, I kind of did some interesting things that i kind of want to talk about so i can kind of scan in an environment right now we're in like uh Kind of my vibe, like green screen room. Um, if I reset the drone, it, it then turns up in front of me. And I could fly it around like kind of like a normal drone. Um, I actually modeled the, the uh, experience off one of my favorite drones. Try to get it before I scan it in. Um, there's like these tiny kind of, I'll show you uh, when I walk out of the room. These tiny drones that are like super fun to learn on and fly around and like rate and like race around the room. They're like twelve bucks. And I was thinking, wow, I could like kind of bring this similar flying experience to uh, to Tango, and then people won't have to crash them, or if they do, they could just reset it. Um, and so. It kind of, yeah, just scanned in the room. I have the drone, and I can actually now go into FPV mode. And so this kind of flies around based on the mesh that I scanned in. Uh, it's the drone's perspective. And the interesting thing is actually if I rotate around, you see there is my pose. The, this is the fab tablet. Let's, I'll walk up a little bit closer to the virtual drone. This is like a 3D model of the tablet I'm using. And uh, I IK rigged up a humanoid character to the pose. And so the cool thing is actually, if you position this right, you can actually see um, me scanning in the environment from this virtual drone that I'm like flying around. Um, and so like, I think that's like a, just a really interesting experience or perspective in itself. Um, so the basis is like, yeah, you can fly around, you can scan, like if I fly outside of the room, um, and then like rotate around if I can make it through the door, because it's all physics based. So if I crash into like weird mesh triangles that form in random places, um, it's bad news. Um, so you can see myself kind of scanning things in, in this room. Um, it's just a black kind of skybox outside. Um, if I fly back even further, you can probably get a good perspective. I, uh, the joke is, I mean, like, this is kind of just like I hacked this out. Um, but I actually made the, uh, character, like, uh, scale him up by a good amount, just because he looked kind of small, um, initially. Um, and the joke is that he was so small because the fab phone made him look tiny because it's such a big phone. Um, and so I 
kind of made him uh, a little bit bigger to fit the size of the fat. Um, but if I reset the drone so he's back in the space, um, I now have like a kind of a larger area to fly through out of this door. Um, and I've like kind of scanned my living room and bonus room. And so now I can go in and place rings um, down on the, uh, through, through kind of like, go like through the door, maybe. This has like mesh clearing built in, so if it accidentally gets kind of some weird depth, maybe in some strange place due to drift or something, the idea is you can kind of look over it and it will kind of update and clear itself out. Um, so I just got out of the, the place ring mode and back in the fly mode. And now I'm in the scan of kind of the course that I scan. And now if I fly through the rings, they, uh, they, sh they make a sound or should make a sound. I just, it's completely crashed. And reset. Um, and so it's cool because these controls are actually identical to let's make it through the actually make it through the ring. Like you gotta go actually through it or else it doesn't sound. Um, but these are like kind of very similar. Feel very similar. What is, is actually like to fly that mini drone around. Um, and so. It's like realistic versus the amount you actually crash it. Um, kind of this is the basis of the experiment. Oh man, I'm walking, my, flying into myself. That's like the only kind of unrealistic thing you can do. Um, but the basis of that that I'm thinking about that for this is like people in multiplayer kind of can race around whether it's locally or online. Um, and then also really excited to like bring this over to Daydream with the Daydream controls. Um, I, the, the Asus Daydream Tango phone, I think will be a perfect kind of headset wearable experience where you can like then port into FPV mode. As well as I think this game will just work well on cardboard slash uh, Google Daydream as well. Um, overall, super excited. Um, kind of one thing... There is, it's in beta right now, so there's a link in the app store um, to grab it, um, to get it. One thing um, that you, you sh that is cool to check out um, that's actually not in this version is I put spatial audio in the environment. And so actually if you wear headphones when you're playing this, you hear the drone relative to how it would be in the actual space. And so because of that, it's kind of this like very immersive um, experience that um, is totally like, it, it gives it a whole nother level of like, wow, it feels like I'm actually flying. And so right now I'm, I would be flying in FPV mode but I would be hearing the sound relative to where the drone is in 3D space. So because it's farther away, it would sound differently. Or if I pan across the screen, it would switch from my left ear to my right ear, um, giving like a whole immerse, a whole new level of immersion. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the prototype. Like I kind of jammed this out in the past week. Um, but yeah, overall, just really psyched on this idea of like, Drone flying and augmented reality, and then also in VR. Um, and yeah, overall, super stoked. Um, hopefully, you uh, thought this video was interesting. And uh, yeah, check it out if you're lucky enough to have a Tango. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Now I'm coming in for my uh, spectacles and I just wanted to show um, the actual drone that I was talking about that I kind of based the uh, game off of and what that's like to actually fly. 
And so this is the H8 Mini. Um, it's pretty easy to control. Uh, you have controller. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to get the height adjustment, but besides that, it's, it's such a fun. The cool thing about the, the game is if you crash the drone in the game, you don't have a risk of uh, breaking it, where this drone's a little bit different. But it's pretty lightweight, so it's not that bad. The H8 Mini.